Hello everybody, my name is Joanna, I'm your travel guide for Zurich meets London. Yesterday the gates of Borough Market opened its gates. So if you want to join delicious food, you have to go there. But Zurich meets London is not only about food and fun, it's also about science and technology. That's why we worked yesterday at the Royal Society of Medicine meeting Sir Mark Jakub and Simon Hirschstrup giving a lecture about the heart matrix. And what the heart matrix is about, we ask Professor Dr. Hirschstrup. Um, the Life Matrix project is a new technology where we produce a human matrix in the laboratory, which after implantation in patients, in particular children with congenital heart malformations, so inborn malformations of the heart, uh, get a replacement, a new implant, which can grow and regenerate with the, with, the with the patient, in this case with the children. And this is very important because today we do not have growing implants. We have heart valve prosthesis, for example, which cannot grow, or blood vessels which are made of artificial materials. And the life matrix will hopefully be the first platform which can prevent that we have to reoperate children because there's a lack of growth in the currently available implants. Yeah, the, the, there's two targets. One target is to have a material which can really grow with the patient, like an, an own living tissue. That's one target. This is what the Life Matrix um, technology is about. The second target is that we can implant a life matrix heart valve or blood vessel by minimal invasive implantation technologies. That is to say by catheters. So that means that we do not have to open the heart anymore or do a big operation where we have to open the chest, but just can deliver the new implant, for example, the heart valve by a catheter. That is called minimally invasively and of course is much less harmful for the patient. So you said, all humans are the same. Yeah. What does it mean to you and how does it affect your work? Um, I really believe that we are all the same and in every way uh, we have the same uh, genes with certain variation obviously because we are individuals. Uh, but uh, I believe that uh, the inequalities in treating people is totally, totally unacceptable and it affects my work because right now I dedicate a whole lot of my time uh, to uh, global medicine. Yes, I do research and have PhD students and so on, but maybe 70 to 80 percent of my time is dedicated to addressing uh, inequalities and the fact that we are all the same but we are not treated equally. Thanks a lot. Okay.